Welcome everybody to episode 59 of Let's Build Minecraft. This, in case you missed it, it was from last episode. This is our apothecary tower. Now, I mentioned a couple episodes about how we had gotten a, or we had found a summoning pact on the golem that had attacked the tower off in this direction. And I wanted to bring it to the court wizard to have him uh, find out what kind of information he could find from it. Well, as I mentioned last episode, I decided that a court wizard wasn't very fitting for this area, really, at all. <laughs> so, because uh, this is a farming town, you don't really need a wizard, do you? Well, I thought an apothecary with, like, basically your, like, herbal medicines and stuff would be much more fitting. And maybe he'd be the most appropriate guy to figure out... Uh, I love that you can go into uh, go into these if you get just right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So he told us that. Um, oh, what was what was our guy's name? Leo Hart, Leo Leo Thorn, Leo. Oh gosh, I'm ninety. I'm I'm sixty percent sure that was Leo Hart, the wizard. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe his name just got changed. It is beautiful in here with the natural sunlight. Ah, oh, I really like the lighting around here. I don't like this guy right here. Uh, we do need. Oh, I'm I'm still in creative. Uh, that's okay because I need to do some flying around. Uh, so yeah, we're actually. Oh gosh, it's so beautiful around here. Love it. We're actually gonna go around. And I'm going to fly around a little bit. Sorry to you guys. That I know some of you don't like that. I'm going to fly around a little bit. I haven't actually found a spot that Leo Hart is going to be located in. But we're going to build his home today. We're going to go find him. And figure out why did he summon that column? Who sent him? What his purposes are? Anything that we can find out, we're going to find out. So, on we go. I just want to make a quick note that I realized while I was uh, making the thumbnail that was just about like this last episode that this is such a beautiful spot right here these plains with this river or this this lake this is a beautiful spot When did this game get so beautiful? The mountain biomes didn't used to generate like this, but man, th this is good. I kind of want to build it here because I have an idea of kind of sneaking a towering house into like a crevice right here, but I almost want to save this for a town right here and there would be a beautiful bridge right here. This is a good spot. So I think I'm going to go on and find somewhere else. Okay, I think I found where I want to go. Not these plains, although they are beautiful. The shades from these this grass with the shaders on sure adds a lot of depth to these plains. A lot of interest. But this is where I want. I realized the uh, potential of these mountain biomes for a possible uh empirical city you know castle uh big big city i realized that this could potentially be a good place um i when i made this map i had some place mapped out for that like uh and i don't think it was this this biome this mountain biome so who knows, but I'm leaving it just in case. I'm gonna turn down my render distance just a little bit because now we're gonna be building in here and these shaders, wow, that doubled my FPS. Okay, so this is actually where I'm gonna put it. I wanted something that was like in a crevice or like in a wall, but I'm actually just gonna set it right between these mountains. And I think that's a pretty interesting idea. We can have like pathways going each way. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, this is cool. So let's get into uh, survival. And uh, the beauty of the ender chests with, um, oh gosh, you guys. 
The beauty of the ender chests with all these things in them is I didn't even have to prepare. Didn't even have to bring any resources with me. What's down here? Uh, never ending. Over here we have swamp. So we're surrounded by swamp, plains, mountains. Honestly, I think it's a pretty good area for a wizard. Just a rogue, uh, hermit kind of like, you know. He can collect all sorts of of biological samples with all these biomes around. But anyways, this is where we're going to be putting it. So let's just excavate a site real quick. Okay, I'm taking a little bit of inspiration. Ooh, you got to go. You can't be here. I'm taking a little bit of inspiration from the windmill at our farming town. And I'll explain that in a second. I'm trying to make this... So that it doesn't really match the town style. I don't want it to be the same style as the watchtowers because this isn't a part of the farming town. This is like a bad dude or potentially a bad dude. We don't know yet. Uh, so I, I want to avoid the exact same style, but I'm taking some... Uh, some inspiration from the windmill because the windmill has like that stone base. I want to do that here where uh, right now I'm trying to decide if I want it one higher. Let's actually knock it up one higher. So just like this on this side is all that matters right now. And then I'm actually going to create a a little thing going down here. I'm gonna extend the wall further down, and there's going to be a door right here. Okay, so this can all get knocked out for the interior. And then there's also going to be stairs going up. Okay, so I don't think that I need this. I can have that perfectly fine. And then I want stairs going up. I only have one stair. Do I have, what do I have jungle wood? I'm not gonna be using jungle wood, so I'm just gonna use it for my bench. And let's put the bench in here. And let's make, I kind of don't want oak for stairs, but I guess I'm going to. Whenever I see oak, I think it's like the generic block kind of. Uh, because, you know, it's the OG wood. Everyone, everyone knows oak. I feel like I'm using old, old styles. I don't know where I want to fit this, uh, this stairway, though, without doing too much. Let's stick it right here. Okay. And then... We can have a stone right here for some sort of a wall. And another right there. And then this can be a wood platform to walk on. This is a weird build because you can't really see it. Most builds, you can see it. And you uh, can't see two sides, two of the four sides here. Eat something to eat. Uh, but this is what I'm going for. So the way that I made it different from our other towers so far is I made the wall colors much darker, which should translate to being grungier. Um, the trim is lighter, which is whatever. There's kind of like, I don't know, I like these little pathways here. They come all the way through the other side. Over here, who knows what he'll have me. We can have a garden over here. Um, you know, maybe he's an apothecary himself. Maybe he maybe he is the court wizard. <gasps> no, then he would sell himself out. He's not gonna he's not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. Uh I see this. I'm doing a lot of like landscaping while I'm doing this. I kind of want no, that's fine. But sometimes flat edges like that, eh, kind of want to get rid of that. That's perfect. 
Um, if this were, this is gonna end up being a wall though, so let's just knock it out. Okay, crazy idea, bear with me. I kinda want this to be a leaning tower. You see those quite a bit. But I don't, I've never done one. But I think I wanna try it, so let's get up. Oh, 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 I can't get up. All that I'm gonna need to do is find a spot here. Let's go up one more there. Get our dirt on us. Get up here, and then that's gonna go straight up. This wall's gonna get moved, so we'll knock it out. And this should give it like that different look that I'm that I'm wanting. So let's actually, uh, yeah. This is a nice little view here. <laughs> hey everybody, I, it's actually been. I'm done with the build, by the way. A little sneak peek here. This is a this is a nice nice view right here. Uh, this is like a week later from oh the first half of the episode. Um, long story short, I don't have really any more classes for the rest of this semester, you know, until, until fall. Um, so lots more time. I've made like two videos in last month. That's over. We're back on schedule, boys. Anyways, right here, this is it. Let's take you to this side that is intended for, for being the opening. Just get on over here. Ah, there, there is like a one and a half block tall spot right here that doesn't work very well with that, but I like the way it looks, so I'm going to keep it. Anyways, uh, this road doesn't really go anywhere because I don't really have any road for it to go to. We are a good ways away from our town. Um, so to make a road that connected to the town also wouldn't really make much sense because this is kind of like a rogue, a rogue wizard or something. So just one trail from the town straight to this guy. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Anyways, this is the building. Now, I had a few goals with this. One, I wanted to make it leaning. And two, I wanted it to be a clearly different style of tower from what I had been building in our farm village. So to do that, changed up the color of the walls. And changed up the roof. Definitely didn't want to use the hay style that we've been using. So, you know, it's nothing too intricate. It does have a, you know, a wavy trim. Mixed in some logs in there. And it is a different kind of log than that, which... I actually see a, uh, a mistake. Um, do I have any stairs on me? I don't. Well, <laughs> if you didn't see it, then... Uh, good, and if you did see it, then, well, just hope it doesn't bother you. <laughs> um, so let's go in here. I didn't do the interior, but I put this guy in here. Now, this guy, I spawned him in here in creative. On the conditions that I cannot use him for anything, I will not be trading with him, even if he has mending. Um... Librarian, librarians are the ones with mending, right? Anyways, I can't use him for anything. He's just here for the story. He is our wizard. Listen, before we go to him for the story, I have this little... Uh, the roof extends to this, which is, you know, connects to the peak of this mountain. And I don't have my render distance so far up because uh, shaders. But you can see this would probably be a good place for him to go to observe things. But we come down this way, and we can see the the better view of the building, I think. So I wanted it to be somewhat... I feel like I'm following the apothecary theme a lot, because I did a, an apothecary in the farming village. And now this guy is like, well, uh, he's probably going to work with plants a lot out in the nature. So I want to put lots of plants out here. Some water. You know, who knows what he's doing. Um, and this connect straight over there you've seen that so I, I made a custom tree here um, and made this go to there's a cave here I did some terraforming it goes to this cave it goes to this cave which 
I can't even find the bottom two. It goes pretty far down. But that's more or less... Let's get up in the air. That's more or less this build. I'm pretty happy with it. So it is on this lonesome mountain, which is like one of the coolest things about it, right between these mountains. Looks really cool. So let's go talk to our friend. I put them in that middle middle floor, so I don't think they can go up and down ladders. Maybe they can go down ladders if they just walk over it like that. I didn't want them getting out, but we're not going to be using them, so it doesn't really matter. And the only time that we're going to be here is, well, when we're visiting this house for whatever reason. So, anyways, uh, don't go down there. Um, so this guy we found, he uh, had put a summoning pact on the stone golem that had attacked one of our towers. And he... Uh, don't these guys make noise? Shouldn't you be talking to me? Hello? Friendly creatures? Har. Har? Hello? Har. There we go. Uh, so, what, what's this guy? Leo Hart? Lionheart? Leo? I think it's Leo Hart. <laughs> Apparently not important enough to remember. Anyways. Um, he, he's just a contractor. Or he just, you know, did it for the money. So he's not really... Uh, the only reason that he would want to not tell us where where it came from was for fear. So maybe we torture him a little. I don't know. Uh, just like a smack. I don't want to kill him. Yeah, like that. So he's going to tell us. And uh, the... The people that sent him are actually... Uh, hmm... See, I'm still, I'm partly making this up as I go. My original idea was orcs. But I've been considering some sort of goblin. So there's some orcs off in the distance. I, I don't know what this, I don't even, I'm not even sure. I think that way is our farming village. And they have a stronghold. And I think that's the next place for us to go visit. Find out about the stronghold, see if there's anyone to talk to, see if we can sort this out peacefully. Maybe there has to be some sort of fight. Um, that would be kind of cool to build, right? Some sort of fight scene. Uh, you know, it's something to think about. Anyways, guys, we found him. Built this new house. I really like it. And, um, we're going to see where we can go from there. And the next project I'm thinking is going to be a, a little bit bigger of a project. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye. Huh.